Hi Pisces, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you, and welcome. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. There is tons of stuff there. Personal reading information, social media links, decks I'm using, uh, playlists, tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. And before we start, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers to those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the uh, channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for all your support. Really, really means a lot to me in helping to grow this channel and being part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Pisces. What's up with Pisces? Love connection reading, first half of September. And how this works is it can be any type of connection. You don't have to be uh, with this person. It's a connection you you believe that you have with somebody, whether you're together or not together, crush, whatever it is, doesn't matter. And uh, whoever you have in mind at this time that you watch this. So we'll see what we get. So I hope everybody's doing well. Summer's almost over. Can you believe that? Wow. Okay. Pisces, first half of September. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So whatever we get here, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Rest of the message may be for you or something here. If you clicked on the title, then something drew you to this reading. So there may be a message or two, or the whole reading may be for you. So what do we have for Pisces spirit, please? The first half of September. What do we have for Pisces? Oh. Nope, that's two. I just want one for Pisces. I'm feeling that one. Let's see. Virgo. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Water in earth. Or they could have Virgo heavily in their chart in some way. If not, that's totally fine. If you're not connecting with the Virgo, that is totally, totally fine. Okay. So let's see. With this deck here... Let's get an overall energy for you and love, this love connection. First half of September for Pisces, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One card for Pisces and this love connection energy for the first half of September. Oh, that's two. I just want one. One card for Pisces and this love connection energy. For the first half of September, please. Just one card. Thank you so much. Only giving me clumps, but let's... Oh, that's two. So I'm going to take that one. Got one card for Pisces. Wow. <laughs> All right, this one was the only one face down, so I think that is your card. Big happy changes, Pisces. So... Whatever's going on now with your love connection, the angels are here to say there will be big happy changes. And we have yes at the top of the deck. Yes, there will be. Within the next few weeks, if that means anything to anybody, something in the next few weeks. Let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have abundance, wow. So a lot of growth and abundance here, big happy changes in this connection, whatever, whoever you're connecting with, if it's a Virgo or not a Virgo, that's totally fine. Wow, big happy changes. Whoops, you know what? I did this wrong. I was supposed to get one card for you and one card for your person first, and I forgot to do that, so... <laughs> Oh my God, okay, so let's do that now, Pisces. Doing it a little backwards, but what well, we got two here. So one for you, one for your person. And now at the bottom of the deck, we have if you believe. So success, wow. If you believe within the next few weeks, yes, and success with an exclamation point. All right, so Pisces. This will be your energy, how you are feeling about your person, and how you are feeling about this connection. Unlikely. Hmm. So maybe you're not seeing these happy changes. You're not seeing 
you're not believing in it and you're not seeing it so you're thinking it's not going to happen but all the energy is here for if you believe within the next few weeks yes success big happy wow and i think we had abundance but i shuffled it back into the deck so abundance was here so let's see what your person has communicate clearly so i think they will be communicating clearly here about how they truly feel about you in this connection because you're feeling it's not you're feeling like it's not going to happen i think you're in that energy all right and you have to believe you have to believe that it will happen okay so i did the beginning there a little backwards but that's okay that was meant to be obviously and i did forget to take the abundance card out but that was there so all right why does pisces have unlikely here? yeah exactly <laughs> wow earth and that's the earth energy here so you're feeling kind of like abandoned left out in the cold neglected like this isn't going to happen you know you're getting cold maybe cold energy from them you're feeling and um you feel like they're not going to take this action towards you because i did see take action under there so they could be taking action pretty soon here but for right now you're feeling like unlikely it's going to happen because you have this like left out in the cold kind of energy from them like a cold energy from them that are communicating right now but i think they will be they will be communicating very clearly exactly what well, we got i'm going to take the top one so we have the emperor so this is aries energy so they're going to take charge and they're going to take action as we had right here they're going to take charge they're going to take action they're going to communicate clearly wow so just have faith believe yes success yep it's all there and they will take that action and take charge take control of the situation and communicate clearly to you how they feel about you moving forward wow so let's get more clarity here the ten of pentacles wow so you're wanting the ten of pentacles with this person you want to go the whole distance with them this is the marriage the commitment to people coming together and sharing everything resources the home the family being abundant prosperous you want this whole nine yards ten of pentacles with this person but for now right now you're just not feeling it because they're not coming forward but i definitely feel like they will be here yeah they're in a kind of a hermit and there's the virgo energy hermit mode probably thinking contemplating how do i come forward what will i say thinking about what they're going to say how they're going to come forward what they're going to offer how they're going to express themselves and now you know finding the way finding their light knowing it's you are their light and it's you that they want wow so let's see what the actual situation is for you Pisces 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 what is the actual situation for Pisces in this love connection spirit please okay we got two I need one more one more one more for Pisces there we go thank you what do we have here so we have the moon and that's your energy cancer or pisces so again feeling kind of left in the dark like not really knowing what's going to happen this is connecting to you to your energy over here so again feeling like i don't know what's going on I, i'm in the dark i don't know i can't see um i'm kind of disillusioned of what's going to happen here but things will come to light because the sun always comes up so they will be taking action here because they've seen the light and it's your light that they want and they will be telling you that wow and then connecting to them is strength so this is leo energy so it doesn't have to be so they're mustering up all their strength here to come forward take charge communicating clearly knowing now you it's you indeed that they want wow 
very they feel very strongly about you also very strong connection here and this is Dem divine masculine energy with the emperor wow so let's see what your uh connective energy is the page of pentacles so both wanting this offer this is a tangible offer this could be engagement this could be just hey let's you know do this let's jump in let's uh for the long haul pentacle energy here's that earth energy virgo taurus capricorn it's coming in with a sure stable grounded offer for the long haul pentacles come and they stay it's growth it's abundance and we had abundance over there which i accidentally shoveled into back into the deck but but there's the ten of pentacles is all that abundance so here is the communication of a solid offer coming in. It's pointing to them, but um, I feel like you're kind of waiting for that offer to come in, but I think they will find their inner strength, take charge, come forward with this offer, because they know that you have no clue what's going on and um, feeling kind of like lonely and unsure of how things are going to go here so let's get more clarity here so death so we got scorpio here so this just could be you no know, needing to end all the situation here of you know being left out in the cold and disillusion needing to end it that way to just to take charge and come forward and end this kind of cold energy between the two of you so you can have a resurrection a rebirth a new start a fresh start together All right, so the Six of Swords. So this is moving on together. These two people are moving on together in peace, harmony, healing energy, more calm, peaceful waters, leaving all the crap behind that is no longer serving them. And you know, over here connecting to you on your side is death with the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you are on, also in the process of ending a long-term relationship or marriage also, and maybe that's why they can't come forward yet. And maybe that's why you're feeling abandoned and left out in the cold because you're ending this situation here. So, you know, the, the moon can be about secrets. So maybe you're not really telling them exactly everything that's going on in your situation. And, you know, and you, and you probably know with the five of pentacle energy, it's probably best now to keep your distance from this person until you clear away all this that you need to let go of. And that could be the taking action here of taking action of letting that go so different scenarios here all right so let's get um, some advice and guidance for you Pisces in this love connection some advice and guidance Wow okay <laughs> so we have the king of Pentacles and we have the five of swords so the king of pentacles here's that earth energy so i think you know you want this person this earth person or this other person um king of pentacles energy here they're in your mind they're in your heart your soul and the five of swords energy so your advice is you know you want this person you know this person they're on your mind your heart and your soul like i said and you want them but the five of sword energy is kind of an energy of doing anything by any means to get what you want kind of an ego driven selfish kind of card don't be in that energy to try to get them um take a slow practical approach instead of doing some things here that you may regret so the king of pentacles you know pentacles are very slow moving kind of energy and the swords can be very harsh and fast paced so there's, I think, a need here to watch your actions, your energy of doing things that you may regret later to try to uh, really move forward with this person or cut away the things that are no longer serving you here, like with the death energy and trying to um, get with this person. You know, don't get in the energy of doing things that you shouldn't. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay, I can see you really want to be with this person and you're really willing to do anything 
at all to be with them, but just watch yourself in the process. Take a slow, practical approach and think things through. Okay, let's get more clarity. The Four of Pentacles. Again, this is your stability and foundation. So again, holding on to your stability and your foundation, holding on to the, the connection with them, yet holding back right now because you know more time is needed as you maybe end something over here that you need to end. Or uh, while you wait for them to finally come forward, you know, holding back from them, yet holding on to the connection also. That makes sense for some. The Empress. So now we have the Emperor and the Empress. So this is a divine masculine and a divine feminine. So you could be connecting here with a soulmate twin flame energy. So, you know, and the Empress here knows the worth, um, embodies all the queens of the deck. It's the female counterpart to the Emperor. So having that stability and that passion and the truth, the clarity, um, moving forward, knowing your worth and value. This is growth, abundance, new beginnings, home, family. Wow. Okay, so let's see, Pisces, what your possible outcome could be in this situation. We get one card for possible outcome for Pisces. So whatever you're going through, whatever you're taking action to end and release, um, whatever big happy changes here for you moving forward. All right, so we got the Nine of Swords, so <laughs> air energy. So you have the stress, worry, anxiety, nervous energy, fear. So I think, you know, you will have stress, anxiety, fear moving forward as, you know, if you're releasing things and moving forward, you know, worrying about everything, about what you're moving on from, how you're doing it, and then this connection with this person. You know, with the emperor, are they still going to be there, you know, in the end? Which I think they they will be. And maybe you're worried about that. But they feel this very strong bond connection with you. And they want to offer that. And you want them to offer that. But for now, you're not telling them exactly what's going on with you. Different kind of scenarios here. So let's get uh, more clarity now. So we have the two of swords. So... You know, indecisiveness here, um, your energy. So it could be you or them. Um, very indecisive energy. Again, I feel not sure if you're doing the right thing by leaving the, your situation to be with them. Are they going to be there? Will they decide to wait for me in the end? You know, very blind, indecisive energy here. Unsure energy. All right, so let's get another one here. So we got the Page of Swords. So, you know, air energy again. You could be just watching each other online, keeping tabs on one another because you can't be together right now. Um, this is communication. So clear, honest communication here. Um messages truths maybe sometimes it might be something you don't want to hear or truths that need to be said maybe that someone may not want to hear um standing up for yourself cutting things out no longer serving you not taking any bs from anyone oh pisces all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now the lovers so <laughs> there's your soulmate twin flame energy so i think this new person is your soulmate twin flame definitely here with the lovers here and this is uh gemini energy but it doesn't have to be and now we have the last judgment so this is you know making a final judgment call making a final decision that you're not sure about am i doing the right thing by you know leaving my situation, taking that action and moving on to this other person that I feel the strong connection with, you know, asking for forgiveness from past relationships, 
This could be a resurrection of an old flame from years and years and years ago. And just uh, divinely guided here. Also, I feel with the judgment. Knight of Cups, water energy. It's your energy. So I feel like it could be you coming forward to them once you're free and clear of these big happy changes. And now you can make these big happy changes coming forward with terms of love, um, emotions, taking that action forward. So we have the queen of rods, the queen. So you could be leaving a fire sign, could be male or female, um, or you could be just in this energy of being very passionate, um, very go-getting type of energy moving forward, going after what you want, that fiery energy to become single. So, yep, I think you're working on becoming single here. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy, or they could be single and very independent and stable, or you're you working very hard to become very single, stable, grounded, and independent and abundant on your own. All right, so Pisces, I do see a twin flame soulmate connection here. I feel like either you or them, I'm feeling more you. It's in the process now of ending something to be with them or you're waiting for them to finally come forward to you and end their ways of being kind of detached and cold and maybe not uh, coming to terms with this connection but then finally coming forward to you with an offer so a couple different things there however that resonates for you or it could be all of it okay Pisces Pisces Let's get some extra guidance and advice for you, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces for the first half of September for extra guidance and advice in this love connection? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Healing needs to. Our Lady of Promise. Number eight, and eight again, is about action, movement, travel. So Our Lady of Promise. So, you know, it could be just, you know, you made a promise to this other person, but I feel like now you need this big happy change. Let me just read a little bit in the book here, number eight. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a lot to read here and I don't want to read this. okay so it says here what makes the suffering of growth bearable whilst you let go of that which no longer supports you wow though you may love it dearly still as you await the peaceful resolution of the heart and become ready willing and capable of stepping into the freedom of of the new life cycle that awaits you. Wow. Her light is there, her promise. This oracle reminds you that no matter what is happening in your life right now, her promise of new life is, is what is really happening. And everything else is just a symptom of that. Have faith, trust her, and believe. This is the Mother Mary oracle. So they talk as if um, this is advice coming from Mother Mary. So that's why it reads like that. So what else do we have here? We have Our Lady who sends the angels. So I think here, seven is divinely guided. So, <laughs> wow. I think your angels and team want you to know this is a very divinely guided soulmate twin flame energy coming in for you. And Our Lady of Passion, nine. So nines are about coming to an ending of a cycle. So there can be a new cycle. So a lot of passion, feeling very passionate, fiery, moving forward, having a lot of passion in this new connection. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. Our Lady of Great Power. So you do have the power within you, that greatness within you, and strength within you to 
move forward out of a situation if you feel is no longer serving you and moving towards these big happy changes and taking that action and believing in this and having all the success of this new twin flame soulmate connection. Pisces. Wow. So Pisces, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do ask though, if you don't like to get all the notifications that you don't unsubscribe, you can simply just unclick the uh, notification bell and you will have to go into your subscriptions area to see where my videos are, all my new videos, and you can watch them from there. But if you, you know, do subscribe, thank you. Thank you so much. And if this didn't resonate for you, you can check past playlists below in the description box. Maybe something will resonate there for you. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just disregard the titles. I do consider them all timeless. Oh, I just need a sip of water. So there may be something there that may resonate for you. <coughs> so I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings here. Good luck to you. And uh, good luck in your big, happy changes. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.